Alrighty, we are going to start this recipe by getting our vegetables ready to cook this meat. We are going to simmer this meat for about an hour and a half just till it's tender. This is a pretty small onion. I think that might do it. We just need to cut it in quarters. And then we're going to take some garlic. We're going to put our onion into this heavy bottom Dutch oven. I am going to cook this on the stove. I'm going to get some bay leaves. Oh, I'm running out of bay leaves here. We're going to put about three good sized bay leaves in there. We're going to add some peppercorns. Lots of peppercorns. And some chili powder. I will have the recipe down below guys. Don't worry about that. A little bit of Mexican oregano or any oregano you have that's fine and some paprika just like that okay now we're gonna take our meat these are beef bone shanks okay you could use lamb if you wanted to now this has normally a, a fatty tendon type thing around the ends I like to cut it to give it room so that it doesn't curl up you do not have to cut it off because we're going to end up uh, simmering it so it will soften up a lot. So I just stick my knife in between the that tendon and cut it just like that. If you want to cut it off you can. I don't think it's necessary. Okay we're just going to take all four pieces and do the same thing. See? It just keeps it from curling up. Like I said if you want to cut this off you can. Okay, so we have everything here in our stock pot. We are going to pop you over to the stove. But before we do that, we are going to add our salt. And pop over to the stove and add the water. Okay, we have this on the stove now. I am going to add the water to cover the meat. This is going to simmer for a while. This is going to simmer for about an hour and a half to two hours. I just cook it on low. So we're going to bring it up to the boil and then lower the heat and let it cook for an hour and a half or so. So we're going to let this boil and we will be right back. All right, everybody, this finally came to a boil. I am going to turn the heat way down and let this simmer so that it does not boil over. Everything is covered nicely, the meat. So I'm going to turn it way down and cover it. So we will be back in about an hour and a half, two hours, as soon as this is tender. Alrighty, we have come to the point that this is cooked. It is very, very tender. What we are going to do is we are going to take the meat out, try to drain as much water as you can, and we are going to strain the broth. Okay, I'm just going to move the meat out of the way. Now the meat does have a lot of peppercorns and stuff in there. We're going to try to get all that out of there as much as we can. Okay, because we're going to fry this meat up just a little bit. Okay, I have a bowl over here with the mesh strainer. And I'm just going to run the broth through there to try to catch all the pepper and the garlic and the onion. Because that has done its job. We don't need it anymore. Okay, moving on to the next step. We are going to add some olive oil to the pan and some butter and we're going to start adding our meat in there make sure that it is in a single layer just like that Once your pieces start getting nice and fried up like this, just like that, that's what you want to see. Start taking it out and put it back into your bowl. Okay, I took everything out of the pan and I did leave all the foam that's in there. I am going to, I added just about a teaspoon more of olive oil. We're going to add in some flour. Okay, I'm going to add some pepper in here. 
a little bit of salt. Now you do want to taste your broth uh, for seasoning. The main thing is the salt. If you need to add a little bit of salt to the broth, you can do that right after you uh, strain it. I've already tasted mine. I know that it's going to need a little bit of salt, so I'm going to add it here. Okay, I'm just scraping up all the fondant there. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the paprika. Not too much, just about a half a teaspoon. And we are going to bloom that in here. Okay, I'm going to start adding the liquid back in. This has thickened up nicely. I did scrape up the fawn from the bottom of the skillet. You just have to kind of keep scraping it. You can see it in there. That's delicious. You don't want to let that go to waste. So we're going to put the meat back in there. You don't want to completely submerge it. Just let it sit in there for a few minutes. And this is done. Look at that. How delicious. And of course leave the bones in there. The bone gives that gravy some really nice flavor. Just let it simmer for about five minutes and shut it off and we're done. We'll be right back to plate this up. This is ready. Look at that. I just plated it up real simple. I made some creamy mashed potatoes. Now you can also uh, serve this with some grits, some cheesy grits. That would be really nice with this dish also. And the meat is, look, fork tender. You don't even need a knife for that. So I just topped it with a little bit of greens, which I'm going to take off so that you can see the actual meat. Look at that. Delicious. Smells delicious. Okay, we are going to give this a taste. Okay, guys, it's the moment of truth. We are going to give this a taste. I can tell you it smells delicious. The meat is just fork tender. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm, mm-hmm. Mmm. The meat is just so tender. Take your time with that meat, guys. It's really gonna make a difference in the end. You know, the bone shanks is a tough cut of meat, so it needs to take its time and simmer slowly. Give it the patience, give it the love. It will reward you in the end. This is absolutely delicious. I will list the recipe down in the description box below. Go take a look there. If you end up trying the recipe and like it, come back and let us know in the comments. People really appreciate that to know if the recipe worked out for them. Okay, guys, that is going to conclude the video for today. I really enjoyed making it for you. If you enjoyed the content, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please turn on that notification bell and leave a comment. That really helps me out here on the channel. And most importantly, share with family and friends. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.